This is The Space. I'm your host, Casey Donovan. It's time to reflect on the week and take it easy for your Sunday with one of my favourite tips from the last seven days. So, relax, get comfy, and let's do this. If you work for yourself, the end of the year comes with a question. Should I put my prices up? It's the done thing. It's progress. Who wouldn't want more money? We love this advice from Cassie Mendoza-Jones. Before you put your prices up, first, check in with your nervous system. Cassie tells a story of when she raised her hourly rate from 135 to $200. It was a lot for her nervous system. She remembers a friend asking what her price was and she stumbled over it. She didn't sound sure because she wasn't. Instead, she went into a stress response and froze. Over time, the new price became easier to communicate. But she wishes she paid attention to her nervous system. Maybe you can relate. Are you happy with your prices? Are you happy until you speak to someone else? Suddenly a voice gets into your head. You should charge more. You should make more. You should be doing less. When you think about raising your prices, check in with how it feels in your body. This is what Cassie has to say in hindsight. I don't regret my choice as I was making the best choice for myself and I made it work. Now I see it like this. If you're booking out at your current price, why change what's working so beautifully just for the sake of it? Why run away from that sufficiency? Why create another bridge to cross right now? This is where the power to pause comes in, says Cassie. If things are working, let them work for longer than feels comfortable. You might want to stretch yourself to the next level. What if the stretch was to sit where you are for another minute or two, another month or two? Can you sit in what you've created without rushing to the next goalpost? When it comes to pricing, do what feels good for your nervous system. When it feels natural and neutral, you can raise your prices immediately. There's no point charging more money if you feel fried and frazzled every time you send an invoice. See what your body is trying to tell you. There is more money waiting for you. Remove the friction and let it flow. I'm Casey Donovan and this is The Space. Thanks for taking the time to learn about this mindfulness stuff. It's cool to have you here. See you tomorrow. Space out.